Hello everyone, T-Man978. Right now we're going to be talking about S.H. Figuarts, Common Rider Saber, Brave Dragon Flavor. T-Man978, Chill Review. This figure comes by way of Yay. The Amazing. He donated this and two other figures so far to my channel. So thank you very much. If you aren't subscribed to him, I am shocked if you're watching this on my channel. Anyhow, he does mostly humanoid action figures that don't transform like this guy. Not everybody in the world is brave enough to spend an hour with one of these and then spend even more time editing that hour long worth of footage down to 30 something minutes. But let's get it out of the package. Right, here's Saber out of the packaging. He comes with himself. One of these little power-up books that goes into his driver. And uh, I'll show that closer later. Three extra set. Well, yeah, three extra sets of hands and a sword. And if you bought blades, he comes with an extra accessory that is compatible with this guy. Get out of the packaging. Come on. I should have did that before I push play. But let me just show you this stuff up close. I showed this off in the blades video. This does not come with them. But it is compatible with his driver. So that can fit in there. But then you get this like already folded out book. That's like an activation key for his driver. On the back it has speaker detail. Because I believe the... The toy actually has sound effects, but the life-size prop toy, I should say. And this fits inside of here, inside of the driver. It was there when I opened it, and I believe there is another spot where it can fit there. And you should be able to fit blades, cards in there, or booklet. Let me hold on. I haven't actually tried this, so let's see if both of them can fit in there at once. Oh. Yeah, they can. There is no port for this little third area, but both of them can fit in there. So I assume on the show, when you put both of them in, he powers up to a new form that this one can't do. So, <laughs> yeah. All of his right hands are gold, and this little piece, this cover, pops off on two pegs, as does the black hands on this side, on the, on the left. And they pop off because all the replacement hands have an empty space. So that's how they save money on that. But yeah. So he has a fist, a balled up fist, a gripping hand, two hands that look like this. And what's the other one looks like? Well, this gestery hand. So that's that. Gestery, grip, fist. And why do I, do I keep thinking there's something else? Actually, you get two sets of gesture hands. This one's more open, and this one is kind of almost pointing. And lastly, you get his sword, which is pretty identical to Blade's sword. Well, I think they were on the same show. When I was doing a little bit of research, it looked like one of these guys came out earlier, but I think this might be a, a newer version. But let's see if I can actually like zoom in on this or so get get the real detail. Come on. So as far as I can tell, I'm focused on this, but it just doesn't look like it's focused. But there's a bunch of circuitry and glyphs inside of there. This can actually come off, so watch out for that. It doesn't come off as easy as blades. Let's show both swords at the same time though. Hilt is kind of different, but the actual sword is pretty identical. Neither one of them are painted on the gray side, it doesn't look like. Let's get you a close look on Saber. The head sculpt is awesome. I like the transparencies and the actual paint up there. And yes, this is hard plastic and sharp. 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 But just like that dude, this reminds me of like the flame stormtrooper's body, just 
digivolved into this. And he has like the little holsters that you should be able to put the folded up books into, but they don't come with that. Here's what this is looking like down there. He has a little skirt piece over here, which I think the paint is just inside of that. It's actually, yeah, this gray plastic. So, yeah, the gray is uh, seems to be unpainted. But this rock, it's wrapped around his waist, really. So I can rock around and get out of the way if need be. But there's his leg without it if you need to see that. Let's zoom in on this detail right here. Or just let you see, like the transparent part right there. Now mine has like, seems like paint imperfections like on the belly. But yeah, he has the honeycomb eye effect. Seems like that's a running theme that each one of the writers has. But the articulation is pretty much the same as Blades. I mean, Except you can look up. Maybe the best out of the three right here. You get the head is on the dumbbell, so you can do all that. The neck, of course, is on a ball, so the neck adds a little bit, but not a lot. Here's how far you can look down. The shoulders lift, they can pull out. They lift down and up and back and forth forward just a little bit, like McFarland style. You do that. The shoulder pad is on a double hinge swivel. Double hinge. Some all oh, like the key thing came up. That's how it bends right there if you bend it at the lower elbow. But let's try to lift it up. You can get a little bit higher. Now the torso is on a dumbbell. So you get a lot. And I'm I'm just I'm just gonna show both at the same time. The the ball in the base and the dumbbell at the top because it's kind of hard to just move one at a time you get a lot of back you get a lot forward considering that this piece right here kind of overlaps and of course you get side tilts and all that the hips drop down kick up a lot kick back you get the thigh rotation knee these fall off just like on blades. The foot rotates because this is like a universal joint. It can come forward that much, go back. You get some ankle pivot. They didn't give you a lot. And you get the toe motion. That toe joint right here is not tight at all. But this one is way significantly tighter. And the bottom of the feet have this like glyph design right there. So they went all out on design and sculpt and whatnot. Even with all the articulation, I like doing these stoic poses and whatnot sometimes. Because you could just do a lot just standing there and it still looks look good. And one thing that's hypnotic on the Amazing's channel is him actually doing the poses live. I like seeing that, but I like editing. <laughs> so, and I like my videos to be as short as possible. Now, I mentioned that stuff being sharp, but yeah, it is very sharp. It kind of hurts to manipulate the shoulders and whatnot, or anything dealing with the head. Well, I didn't mention it, but this is on the double hinge as well, just like this shoulder pad, so I can get out of the way. Yeah, and he still looks good without the sword in his hand. You can pose him up and whatnot. Stands. I have st I have an Amazon link in the description in the description because I'm an Amazon associate. Every purchase you make after you click one of my links, I get a little bit of money from that. I gotta say that. But um, I have a section called Action Figure Enhancers, and I have a bunch of stands, blood effects, and motorcycles and other things you can use for like one twelfth scale action figures. Here's a size comparison with the ones I've reviewed so far. I have one more and a possibly another one before you never see Common Rider on my channel again. <laughs>
Here he is next to some Hasbro 6 inch action figures. These are from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Here's a Black Series figure. And I don't know why I haven't brought a Marvel Legends in this room yet besides this guy. He's very tall compared to even regular Marvel Legends. But yeah, there you go with that. And here is a Deluxe Class Transformer. A Martin Day Deluxe Class Transformer. Alright, end of the day. Yes, I like the thing. If you couldn't tell. I mean, this extra weapon, I wish it would have come with him. But I guess they had to correct that. Or I don't know. Maybe that's how it worked in the show. That Blades gave it to him or whatever. But um, the design looks cool. I do have quite a few pain imperfections. I showed the one on the belly. But there is some um, warpage work right there. Or a speck of black paint on that red where it shouldn't be. But um, the articulation is good. You know I am a ab crunch fanatic. This <laughs> it's good enough. I guess in real life if somebody was in this seat, they wouldn't be but so flexible. What it can do is good and the way it looks is good. The accessories are good. Can't really complain too much. Thank you so much. The amazing. Thank everybody else so much for watching this video. If you want to support me in any type of way other than watching the video all the way through clicking like and sharing and all that like i said i do have the amazon associates link in the description and i also have the super thanks button down there underneath the video depending on how you're watching this <laughs> until next time gman 978 out of here click click the videos click the in videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click Click the videos, click those in videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.